Now to run over to what I was originally doing to see what work they got for me. If any. Uh, do you have any work? No. Wait, wanna just talk? No? Alright, cool. See you fucks later. Losers. Uh, since that's all taken care of until uh, until uh, I progress yes I could start checking these locations at least until I get a text in like three minutes telling me that they, she wants to talk and hang out again Ha, ah, there's someone. Excuse not interest. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. It won't be long, please. Do you know a man named Red Nose? Oh. I suppose he looks familiar. Any idea where he is? Look, I haven't seen him in ages, man. I'd guess he skipped town. Or worse. Oh, thanks. All right, well, that's one thing. Ow! <laughs> the ghost of Shishima, I would have just shattered my ankles. Hello there, friends. The Ow, I want to rub the belly. Impressive that you can take a punch and keep your glasses on. Nothing like a quick little belly push can fix. And stay down. So I finally talked to my manager and how'd it go? Well, as you can see, he certainly wasn't too thrilled at first. Well, as you can guess. But then I showed him my new song, and wow, he fell in love with it. It's like he was totally floored. Nice. And you know what else he said? That it would be a shame if the no dating policy was going to stifle my creativity. So he fucked me. <laughs> they told me he'd negotiate with the president of the company. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's incredible. May I hear that song of yours now? <laughs> Maybe next time. Damn. There is no song, it's a fucking lie. Depends. Jeez, I didn't mean to. Want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Oh, and in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a shot at it? Uh, okay. I thought I had one of these. Come again? It's for a new game this Big Shot Committee just opened. They well, this finally opens this up. Over at Paradise VR. 
Which is what? It's uh, some kind of fancy board game. You wear Almost stupid to glasses, sell me stuff. you roll dice. Heck of I. It's over on Theater Alley, and you need one of the play passes to get in. Huh. This town's crazy sometimes. I hear they got some pretty nice prizes if you win, too. But my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it no problem. What do you say? Sounds interesting. All right, you wait here. I'll go win you that prize. Thanks a million, buddy. I'll ask around about your red nose in the meantime. I don't like how they're gonna in how they integrate you having to do like the activity as a uh, as a um, thing. Sorry, I'm just checking one thing here. But like, I like how it's integrated to you to go check it out. Mouse was acting up. No, we're good now. Oh, you look like a group of friendly people if you turn around and see me, but I'm going this way, so fuck you. why it's so warm in here. It's like 20 degrees outside. I'm in a fucking basement. Not that hot in here. For, it shouldn't be, but it is. It's actually pretty well maintained of heat in this room. I set all my shit up in a basement so I wouldn't bother people so I can do late, you know, please stream and do things late at night and not have to worry about bugging people unless I'm really loud, then I'll, you know... Welcome to Paradise VR. Have you played the latest virtual reality entertainment? The one and only Dice Cube? To be honest, I still want a VR thing. I, I, uh... I, I, I still want to eventually experience VR, but I just don't think it'll ever happen. I'd have to fucking work first so I can actually earn money to afford it. Each, uh, course costs a different number of play passes. I think this is the thing the homeless yep. guy gave me? This will play pass? Oh, a free trial play pass. You can play just one of these. Have you played Dice Cube nope. before? No, this is my first time. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm your receptionist. Naisu Daisu. As a nice dice, I'm so sorry. Hope, uh, we sure hope you have an, exp uh, an amazing experience that brings you yeah. back for more. Thanks. I'll guide you through a short course today. Customers who do well on the short course get a special surprise. The condition is to clear the stage with more than two dice left in your possession. Do your best. Is this what the homeless guy wanted? I said, bring, beat the game and bring him back the prize. Now, if you please put on these VR goggles. <laughs> You're all set. Enjoy the trip to Virtual Camarocho. It'll be sick. You're gonna blow me while I have these VR goggles on. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh boy. Whoa! I can't imagine what I look like in normal reality. What's happening? All right. Oh, we need a fresh face. Howdy. The name's Kuro Neon, and I'll run the dang old Dice and Cube game. I was born and raised here, green being a big time mascot, and here I am. Sure it's nice to- oh my god, stop. Sure it's nice to have company, virtual prison of mine. Now let me learn you the rules. There's three basic things you ought to know about Dyson Cube. First, you can start rolling with the axe and stop with the axe. Second, there's a limit how many dice you can roll per game. Third, items you find around these parts are converted into cash rewards once it's all said and done. The third rule's mighty important, but I reckon it's quicker to show you than running off my mouth. Running off the mouth. Time for your first roll. Don't be nervous now, Sonny. Loosen up and shoulders and relax some cheeks. Come on. 
one. Now then, there's just uh, down by one. The number shows how many dice you're throwing in a crazy old game, and when it reaches zero, bang, boom, complete the game's over. Sonny, so don't mind the dice number, whatever. You so mind the dice number whenever you make your moves. Oh, and the higher your number is here, the higher the bonus you get. The bonus changes depending on how much you have left. Just press square to look at the details. Oh, he wants these meal tickets. wonder if I should put on some uh, cat ears to show off my cuteness. Wait, I already have, I have them already? Event, open the safe. Just teaching nice. people to put, pick Almost locks. There. Nice. Stupid thing. Oh, God damn it. Almost there. Am I bad? Oh, I suck at this. Oh, I'm getting my shit right trying to open a safe. I can't why do am it. Why I bad? Not lining up. I see the line. Oh, I suck at this. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Got it. I had to cut that one real close. Pretty good. You can cash this item for 30,000. Real life? Cause sweet. Crossroads. And space to reach the goal. Now roll them dice. Now. A branching path, eh? Well, wherever you go is up to you, but whatever fate falls on your responsibility alone. By the way, you can check where you hang the L1 and look at the dang map. Space is moved. Go left. The battle's only one star, so if anything, good warm up. Now, pat him into the dust, sonny boy. I'm so high right now. Hey, man, we. Why are we in the batting cages? That fucking smiley face off my back. Cash that in for twenty-five thousand. Oh no, I don't want to do it again. I mean, cool, I get items, I guess, to sell or get the money, but... Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Perfect. Oh, cool, 10,000 on that one. One. Fight or fight. I'll go, left. go this way. Not looking good. Two star. Ah! Put him in the recycling bin. You gotta recycle this pussy. What that means, but sure. Oh. Every battle has a time limit. If you don't meet the conditions within the time limit, you'll fail. 
Lock style battle that restricts you with only one combat style. You will not be able to switch. A battle where every enemy inflicts a mortal wound. Mortal wounds can be healed if encountered. King Coronion. A battle that pits you with the drones. Special golden enemies. In a rare case, a golden enemy will appear during the battle mission. Defeating them will cause the appear the king somewhere in the city. Activate that mode. So if you never come, if you ever come across it, defeat it first. Purple or rare. You end the battle without defeating a new news will spawn somewhere to see. If you do encounter it, all your items will be stolen. If you encounter that. So come out across the golden one, beat it first. Or a purple one also. And I gotta use Tiger style, which I'm always using. Don't throw chairs. Virtual reality plays make you feel pain too. So like, if you weren't a skilled fighter and you wanted to play the game and you landed on a battle space, you're just gonna beat the shit out of. Come on. All right. Go. Oh, yeah. huh. Perfect. Well, don't beat that beat all. You earned yourself a nice haul. And you had some nice luck there. Uh... Now, is that just for my score? Or are you actually paying me? Because <laughs> how does this business stay running if you're giving away money for people who are playing the game? Actually turned out pretty good. I'd say, oh wow, you breeze right through that course. Here's your luxury meal ticket for winning. And here's your free play pass for trying it out. Hope to see you here soon. Okay, now give me the homeless guy uh, figure out where Red Nose is. Next time you'll able to play the short course standard. I'll probably give it a try when we're not in tutorial mode of it. I don't see why not. It was interesting enough. When's the next time you're free? There's something I need to confess. Remember, it's good for you. Then would it be cover if I head over tonight? Should I just wait at the office then? Yes, please. I guess we're right heading over there now. Guess we're doing this. Man, I'm, I can't keep a lady waiting. You guys have no fucking respect for cones. What are you gonna do about it, huh? I'm on a car and you're not. Motherfucker! Thanks for the money, dirtbag. What a waste. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry to hold up traffic. We had a disagreement. landlady who just keeps showing up. Damn, I left my eye drop somewhere. Out of the way. You also don't respect the cone. Belly rub or push. Yeah. 
I wish that cone toss would have knocked him out. It's getting all heated, and I throw a fucking cone, it just shatters and knocks him out. It was like a pussy throw. <laughs> Hold on, before I do this, plan by the place. I think this is the one that I haven't met the guy. I'm gonna do this since I'm actually hurt. I can go eat and, or do whatever. I was here before. I thought it was the guy who was sleeping. Maybe I didn't meet him. Like, oh no, it's oh, it's the lady friend. How many in your party? Just me. Uh, okay, okay. Party for one. Please follow me. And she just starts walking into the counter. Hmm? You wouldn't have been new here, would you? Oh, yes, I just started part time. Part time. I've heard that name before. Hey. Uh, got it. I'm Yagami. I come here all the time, so it's nice to finally see a new face. Oh, you're a regular? Wow, it's so nice to meet you. Ah, to to be young and in love, I guess I could I guess I could help uh Momoto cut out a bit. <laughs> Refresh to see a server who could actually who's actually enthusiastic about their job. I bet you're popular with the customers. <laughs> ah, I wish. Unfortunately I'm not popular inside or outside of work. Mm -hmm. Really? Never would have guessed. I'm sure you'd have at least a boyfriend, right? Nope. But if you have any good candidates, tell them I'm accepting applications. So you have no trouble finding a guy unless you're the type who has crazy expectations. <laughs> Don't be silly, I'm not that picky. And just out of curiosity, on a purely platonic level, what kind of guy is your type? He's gotta have a great sense of humor and a good conversationalist, too. So we're gonna cheer me up anytime. Alright, right? Well, I hope he turns up soon. Me too. Pray for me, Yagami said. Now she's gonna think it's me, but I don't even think she's on the list of girlfriends we could have. That was a great coffee, thank you. I didn't even drink it, but thank you. Just a cup, she just brought me a mug. Could wait, but I'm gonna walk over here. I don't know why I take this route to the fridge. Hopefully she's not coming over to make me curry, I just ate. Reputation level 50. Oh, God. Get reputation. Main story progress. So a lot of them, I think I already got the main story. I just need to get my reputation higher. I gotta go and keep doing these friend things real quick and continue to build that up. And then eventually, as the stories progress, make new friends because more of them show up. Oh, I just, I don't want to help the cat guy. Fuck that dude. I don't want to look for cats. I have to, like, look up a thing for it. I know where to start for him. I have to keep looking around for all the friends, keep getting my rep up. I don't want to miss out on some of these silly jobs that we can do. Sorry to keep you waiting. Kept you waiting, huh? No worries, have a seat. Yeah. Thank you. So, you mentioned you had something important to talk over with me. Oh, sorry I'm sorry, I don't think I could just, I can just yet. Why don't we talk about something else first? How's your latest single? And how's your latest single? What's it all about? I may have said it before, but it's a love song. Mm. Really, I never would have guessed. More specifically, a song about one-sided love, inspired by true events, maybe? Okay. Th that's right. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing to think this will actually be released to the public. Who's that manager of yours? 
I'm glad you worked things That's out. True. Yep, turns out all I needed to do was take some time and start out how I felt. After talking to him a little bit and sharing what I was going through, he said he understood. Then he really values the integrity of my music. He said he tried to negotiate the no dating policy with the people up top. It's very considerate boss you got okay. there. Yep, gotta work hard for his sake too. Yagami-san. All right, Yagami-san. I think I'm ready for the big talk now. I'm all ears. Okay, deep breaths, girl. Deep breaths. I'm a man. Oh God, there's a whole scene for this too. You know. I've been meaning to tell you this for a little while, and I realized oh boy, just I'm how important uncomfortable. you've been this whole time to me. We've been through so much. It feels like we've known each other for such a long time now. I don't know you. Yagimi-san, I am, um, well, I guess I just gotta say it. <laughs> Are you ready? No. I love you. And the only thing I want is for us to be together. There. I said it. I had a feeling she liked me, but to come right out and say it? So, will you give me your answer? Oh, God. If you really think I'm good enough for you, then let's look forward to a bright future together. <gasps> I don't even care if we find other girlfriends and I can't do anything because of this, or if I'm going to be a scumbag and have multiple. I don't care. You really mean that? Of course, I've been waiting for this for a long okay. time, too. Oh, thank goodness. Don't go breaking my heart now. <laughs> I can hardly believe this is happening. It I know really I say this all the time, dream. but it really feels like we're living a dream. There's no dream, I can show you that. And show me. Help me know our love is real. Wait a minute, what's happening? Too young for this. I don't understand. Hey. I'm older than her in real life. Yagami-san, can I uh, call you Kagiyuki-san now on? Of course you can. Kagiyuki-san. Good, I'm glad I pronounced it right. It'll come naturally as we spend more time together. Then I'll be looking forward to that, Kagiyuki-san. So will I. Guess I'll see you soon. And now that the story is complete, I'll never talk to you again. It's official. We're a couple now. I'm sure it won't be easy to balance our careers with the love lives, but I'll do whatever it takes to support her. The world is a lover's playground. After you start dating, you can use the message app to invite the girl out on dates. Once you become an official couple, you can go out and play various mini games together. And if you really want to make your girlfriend happy, buy her something fancy. I was waiting for it to tell me, like, you can have multiple. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. I had a wonderful time. I did too. Maybe we can hang out again soon. I didn't really do much. We just talked, but I guess that's really great. So much I want to talk to you about. I'd send to hang out if I really want to. Only thing that annoys me is now it's gonna pop up. Did I invite her out? Not a good time right now. There we go. Let's get out here and try to make some more friends. I know it's like come on, do story and stuff, but let's let's try to let's try to make some friends that I haven't seen in a while and or improve upon. This is the cat guy. I'll get to him in a little while. Someone here that I haven't met yet. One in the batting center. Gotta... Gotta get these friendships up so my reputation goes up so I can get more cases. not my favorite system, but I guess it makes you so you actually go and experience these stories and things that happen. Guess we're doing this. No, whoa, 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 whoa. No grabbing. Nice try, jerk. Ow, ow, ow. This is uncomfortable. I'd like you to get the hell off of me. No touching.
You guys okay? Oh, I think he's okay. Really, guys? Okay, at least they're beating me up a little so I can get some health from eating food. Oh, whoa, hey. Do I, do I need to chase him to mm -hmm. some uh, A regular got punchy. Hey, okay, calm down. Tell me what happened. Had no money. Just booked it. Mm. I don't exa exactly. What do you mean? All I understood was regular punchy had no money and booked it. What is he trying to say here? Wait a minute. A regular who had no money got punchy and decided to book it. Are you saying the regular customer got violent with you because he refused to pay the bill and took off? Yes. The guy who just ran outside, he's the one. Hurry, please catch him before he gets away. Gotcha. I'll be back before you know it. I'll too get punchy. I can speak the language of the fist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me a little one-two. Whoa. What the hell was that? What? Jesus, are you throwing rocks at me? Better not be a knife. I'll fucking kill you. Nope. Excuse me. Jesus, I bumped into no one. Technically, those other people, but it's whatever. Fucking cone. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. What the fuck, man? That, that went through me. Now I was going to know I'm a ghost. So we're going to throw down a bro <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're going to do it. Not going to believe it, but I'm hungry. As far as you go, buddy, just settle down. We won't have to do this the hard way. Well, I'm fucked. Hello? Hello, officer. Yeah, we got an issue here. He's trying to blow me, and I'm not interested. Thanks for work. I said you really helped me out of the bind. Hey, no problem. Sometimes I have trouble speaking when I panic. I'm glad you bothered to understand me when no one else would. It wasn't a bother at all. Even if your words didn't reach me initially, your feelings sure did. Yeah. 15. Now I can do some, like, at least a job. Oh, but I'm not going to just go to the board because I got 15. I'm going to try to build it up and then start doing the other fucking missions. I had something to give you. It might not be useful at first glance, but take a look anyway. What is it? I found it in the used bookstore. I thought it would be pretty mm -hmm. interesting. The Art of Gluttony. What is this? I bought it because I thought it would help me study. It wasn't too helpful in the end, but at least I got a kick out of it. Being this guy will unlock the bottomless stomach. Learn how to use it in the skill lab. Oh, don't forget to come back for a delicious beef bowls. Show you my beef bowl. Oh, they're over there right now. Cool. I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck's happening over there? Uh, I was gonna talk to you, but I'll, I'll be right back. Ow, jeez, that's not even fair. How did I even kick that one? Seven was slight pain in the ass of how long it was. 
I'm glad, though, that people I've been hearing good things about it, so I'm glad it didn't, like, turn out bad. That it's fun. <laughs> I'm excited to eventually get to play the Yakuza games. Good to see you, and you too, both of you. Thank you for your help. Come to think of it, this is the first time all three of us have met together. It is, isn't it? So how's that collaboration come to luck? Well, thanks to you and why okay. The kitchen agreed to be our partner in this project. <laughs> Even though our campaign just started today, it's already bringing in the big bucks. That's great to hear. On top of that, thanks to the increase in profits, my boss decided they won't be closing down the store. Now I won't have any more nightmares about getting fired or getting my face dunked in the deep fryer. Lighting forked out, buckling under the pressure. Good for you. Well, you can repay me by being my friend so I can keep my reputation <laughs> increased. Couldn't have done it without you. You're good too? Oh, yes. Thanks for your thoughtful advice and for including me in such a well thought out campaign. We appreciate how both restaurants benefit from working together. Take, for instance, the fact that our company had previously put an emphasis on sales alone, but by leading for a similar chain like Wild Jackson, we were able to gain more insight for our overall outlook. Negotiating became an open discussion about developing our strengths and reaching our full potential. After listening to his thoughts, we should we started to tackle the problem and solve them uh, the, their kitchen way. Both of our companies are very grateful for you. 17. There we go. We already jumped two, so I'll have uh, side missions I can do. Side cave. <laughs> we'll accept our token of gratitude. Oh, thank you. Though we may be separate companies, our goal is one to serve the best food here in Tokyo. Or in Tokyo. Anytime you want to try a new special, just come to either store. We'll start your order right away. Convenient. There's still a couple people I need to meet. That's in dr All right, it's a fucking drone race guy. Someone there I guess I haven't met yet. Uh, then there's someone at the batting cages I gotta talk to. Alright, that's the guy who has a crush on someone. I'll have to work on both of them. Somebody there that I haven't talked to yet. Slowly working on these friends things, because the better, we, the quicker we can get these increased, the, uh, the more side stuff we can do, which will be not, or er, like, side cases we can do. Already been streaming for almost seven hours. What the hell happened? Domo. Greetings, sir. Would you care to see some breasts today? <laughs> oh, you're the guy I was supposed to talk to. I was wondering. I was supposed to have this guy apparently as a friend early on, and I never did. Because one of the missions for trying to find out the punks who stole that guy's bag, I was supposed to talk to him, and he would have led me to the batting center. But since I didn't know this guy, I just went to the batting center. Oh, world-class Lady Lowe's here. Knockers that will knock your socks off. Some incredible inflatables. Uh, Wait a minute. Dookie? Oh, Yagami-san. What the hell were you just asking me? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm actually working part-time as a barker. Hmm? Wait, what? I thought you were supposed to be a student. Hi. I am. In fact, I'm going to a vocational school right now. Well, why is it a student working as a barker? <laughs> Oh, a lot of us students do this kind of work. It's easy and it pays well, you know? Mm. That may be true, but I, I must say, I'm not all impressed with your career choice. Hey, now, this is actually a very important job. A noble undertaking, oh, even. No. So I'll ask you once, are you ready to witness the honkiest hooter experience you've ever had in your life? <gasps> dude, the, dude, these terrible names work on other guys. It's certainly not working on me. If there's actually a reason I'm doing this. Call it a greater purpose, if you will. I'll even beg if I have to. Should I play along? I could always take a quick peek. Yeah. All right, you're at least trying to take this seriously, so give me the club's name and let's be done with this. Hey. You're not doing this because you're low on money, are you? Nah, that's nothing to do with money. My family's actually pretty well off. Besides, there are bigger, more bodacious issues uh, at stake here. Hmm. I'm curious about this issue of yours. <laughs> I'll save those details for later. First, let me introduce you to the finest young hostess that Kevin Rocha has to offer. 
She's innocent. She's lovable. She has a very good heart. And on top of it all, she's your first Vincent's on me. Huh? Go far, just that far and get me into your club. You need to meet this girl. I practically do anything. Hmm. In fact, I even let you order the most expensive drinks in the club all on my tab. And you can afford all this how? <laughs> Dude, I make cash money on this job. I'm, ta I'm talking like 500,000 yen a month huh? here. What? You earn that much just by pestering pedestrians about breasts? I had no idea barkers could be so loaded. Job is all about results. Oh, and just between you and me, the trick is to come up with as many museums for boobs as you can. Guys, just eat that shit up. Actually works. How many do you have? <laughs> well, there's jugs, jugular, j jumbos, bosoms, biggins, nagas, love, bubbles, blouse biscuits. Sh should I keep going? We need a second here. Hold on. I am going to need to screen cap what this is being said. Send this to John. Later. Uh, John. Seems amazing. That was more than I needed to hear. Right, right. Anyway, all I want you to do is head to Apple Pie over on Tinkai Street and ask for a girl named uh, Madoka. All right. And tell whoever's on duty that I'll be footing the bill. I'll be chilling at the smoking area inside the theater, so let me know how it goes when you're done. Okay, will do. I like on top of that. My next mission still is return to homeless man. They have to go to apple pie. Where the fuck it's located? God, there's someone here in front of the... I don't think I, I'm not going to play that game, probably. Just get away from here first. he wants me. I guess he'll just appear. There it is. A break room for apple pie employees. I think I gotta go here. I think he'll just be hanging out somewhere. I feel like I'm just someone's pulling my finger here. On my leg, not my finger. What the hell? What's wrong with me? Sorry, sir, I had to push your belly. Oh, oh God, his leg. And stay down. what I'm doing anymore. Jeez, man, you guys, I mean, I guess I am in your territory. Hi, 
Hi, I'm in the store. There you go. You were not behind that counter. Warm this up for me. Probably kicking that guy in the dick. Not working out for them. What a waste. Anyway, I take one Jack Daniels, please. What am I doing? Excuse me. Hi there. Yes, Welcome to Apple Pie. Oh, uh, that would be. Hey there, handsome. If you're looking for someone special, why don't you tag along with me? <laughs> or how about me? I give you all my guys the very best service. Actually, there's like. Girl name. Okay, work here. <laughs> Want to request that? Her of all people? Is there some kind of problem? Oh no, she's a little. Well, you see, she's about. Yes, absolutely. I'll reserve your table right away. But keep in mind, we do not offer a return policy. Just put it on his tab. I see. So you're with him. Okay, understood. And right, I got to get too dejected. At least you won't be drinking alone. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not going well, and I'm gonna be. Oh hi, I'm. Uh... Okay. Hi there. I'm Yagami. I uh, I guess I'll sit right here. I have never been more uncomfortable. I eyes up, Yagami. Come on now. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm the one has to break the ice. So you seem pretty young to be working here. Oh well. Uh. uh hey, I know. Hmm? Uh, why don't you buy us some drinks and I might actually tell you how old I am. That was pretty blunt to himself. Not to mention, she's not much for conversation. Oh, uh, did you want to order something? Well, she said I'd order some drinks on the house. Looks like I'm going to need it. Yeah, I'll be uh, taking those, the 20,000 yen one. Are you sure it's 20,000 yen, you know? Four zeros. Yeah, I'm sure. Bring me the good stuff. Wow, thank you so much. I don't know how I feel about any of this. Oof. That drink could make a buffalo stumble, but I can still keep going. Hmm. Going nowhere. Why is she all st st clamped Excuse up? Excuse me. Take another round of the 20 grand. Oh, sure. Coming right up. I am. I think I'm tapped out for today. Mm, you don't look yeah. so good. Yeah, maybe I overdid it. Damn, guess my tolerance is slipping. Jesus Christ. I gotta fucking come back when I have a better tolerance. Or I'm a borderline alcoholic. I didn't mean to talk. Excuse me. Oh. I didn't mean to come talk. I'm still like hammered. Of course, I could hardly finish my drinks last time. Let's take it nice and slow today. I'm gonna drink a lot at least. <laughs> Distributor sales. Oh, I think I'm tapped out. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get my fucking drive. Was I'm still drunk from before? It's been like four minutes. Not even. I gotta leave. I gotta find the exit and go fucking calm down a little bit. Hold on. Oh my jeez, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god. Alright, who wants to fight me? <laughs> I need to release some of this fucking alcohol out of my system with battling. Oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Damn it! I just want my reputation to be improved. Bring on the bad guys. All right, sorry, I cannot run straight. For the record, because I'm so horribly intoxicated. 
I am running left and right because the game wants me to it. Oh, there is a sober egg item, isn't there? Wouldn't be surprised if I have one. Back to raise enemy and drop items. Oh, that's interesting. Didn't even though I had that. Oh, Jack Daniels, that's what I need, right? I better go to the store. I can run straight when I'm at eight. Practically non existent. Of course, I'm intoxicated. No one wants to fight me. You sell anything that helps with my alcohol problem. do it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm looking for a fight. That's why I'm stumbling around like an idiot yelling. Not because that's just what I do, because I'm an idiot, but because I'm just pissed. <laughs> but no, it's because I'm drunk. Just looking for some fuckheads to beat up. Excuse me. Okay, now it's getting a little hard to run. Come on, where the guys? I'm so defenseless. I hope no one jumps me because I'm so drunk with all of my money. It would really suck if someone tries to beat me up. I'm gonna, I was gonna say I'm gonna be sober by the time I find someone. Bitch. I know on the mini map they show up when I'm like when they see me, but in general, I don't think on the big map they pop up anywhere. They just kind of appear. I need to fill up my EX game, so I need to hit you guys in the belly a couple more times. Really, guys? Now I think I can pop down some drinks again. The big cone. Why do you keep coming back here? It's like, I don't know. I have a fucking, at this point, a personal stake of just seeing how much I could drink. I I didn't really mean to come back here. Excuse me. Hey, you can't barge in here. Yeah, you know, get lost. Sorry, I figured as much. Sorry. You're fully so Yeah, I'm just fine. Hey, I'm back again. Excuse me. Oh. This is why I also carry like 10 Jack Daniels on me because I'm ready to fucking get drunk and do that drunken fist if I need it. I could hardly finish my drinks last time. Uh. Oof. Hmm. You still Excuse all clammed me. up. I'll take another lo another drink. Ooh, this shit's strong. Good thing I'm a little bit stronger. <laughs> Amazing. You really hold your alcohol well. Yeah, my liver is pissed. Hmm. Gosh, this is weird. But I, it's like I'm talking to a doll. Not that I would know anything about mm -hmm. that. Are you going to ask, you know, to do something with mm -hmm. me? Something like what? You you know what this club is, don't you? I'm, just have, I'm happy just talking. Yes, but I find it more fun to talk. Would you agree? What, you're act having fun? Even though you're stuck here with me? Yeah, yeah I've been here three times. Yeah, you don't need to worry. I can keep my hands to myself. Oh, 
Okay, you're a pretty nice guy, you know that? <laughs> I was only nervous because I thought you were going to touch me. Ah, so that's why you're quiet the whole time. Yeah, my heart is hammering so loudly I can barely hear my own thoughts, let alone focus on talking. That makes sense. <laughs> Not that I'm any good at talking to begin with. Can't argue with that. I mean, what would you make... What would make you work here if even though you don't like talking to people? Mm. Well, I thought if my customers were interested in groping me, I wouldn't have to worry about being all social. That's some strategy you got there. Why wouldn't you put yourself through that, a nice young girl like you? Well, that's because I'm trying to put myself through school. Ever since my parents back home got sick, I've been paying for my own tuition along with all the living expenses. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're a student then. That's right, I'm going to college right now. Must be difficult handling it all by yourself. Have you tried looking for scholarships? I have, but the only offers I get are student loans, which interest rates like that, I'd never be able to repay them. If I work at a club like this, I earn a lot in no time. That is, as long as I can put up with it. That's what's going on. Yeah, a lot of college girls end up working at sex shops, you know. Because I don't want to actually give myself to men that way, I choose to work here instead. Same that society has put some of you girls in such a tough position. <laughs> Really think so? You're weird, but you know what? I actually kind of like you. You're nice to talk to. <laughs> you sure that's not the sales talk? Yeah. Of course not. Don't be rude. And besides, you know I'm not that good at talking. Sure about that? You talked to other customers the way you did just now? I bet a lot of them would be happy. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Did you enjoy your time? I hope she didn't offend you yep. anyway. Oh, she was fantastic. I'll definitely be back. I gotta say, really shocking to see you enjoying herself with a customer. She's never like that. Yeah, like the other day she was so quiet a customer thought she was a foreigner who couldn't speak <laughs> Japanese. Is that right? Yep. The first time I've seen her engage in normal conversation like this. She must be a really smooth dude. She's pretty different from the other girls, but she's a keeper, so if you like her, be good to her, yeah. okay? I'll be sure to. I'm glad you're not being bitches like a lot of people would. Well, better report back to her and have a word with him. God damn it, I'm hammered again. God, they're, they're gonna get pissed at me. I keep breaking that fucking thing. Like, come on! Are you hanging out where again? There he is. Found him. Oh, now you guys show up real fast when I didn't really need you. Well, time to sober. Oh, hey! I mean, I. Hot sauce? I mean, I was about to sober up, but okay. Ow, ow, ow. They only came out as bitches so they could serve for her. Pretty much. belly what a waste man can't wait to tell my girlfriend that I in the game not in real life I don't have one uh, in the game that it's like oh I went to a club talked to some a girl in a maid outfit when we were getting drunk are you glad that we're together hey I went to visit her. Oh, no. How was she? Yeah, so she didn't seem to l like the hostess type at all. I wonder if she'll be okay over there. Did she flinch or start crying when you touched her, or did she maybe slap you in the face? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't lay a finger on her, man. That's not my style. Really? Yagami, you're such a good guy. I knew I could count on you. You want me to grab you? Wait, how old hey. are you? What's going on here? You sent me out to go out with a student, and now you're happy we didn't do anything? You actually told you she was a student? Man, I'm impressed. <laughs> Damn, that's nothing short of a miracle. Yeah, I brought up a fair share of customers, but you're the first she opened up to. See, she rarely talks to anyone at work, and I doubt she'd tell anyone about her personal life. That's why they said at the club, too. She, who made... Who is her... Who is... Madoka to you anyway? You were saying there's some kind of reason behind all this? You seem like a trusty, trustworthy guy, so I'll spill the beans. It's actually my senior in high school. Okay. It was really popular because of her huge chest. So we all teased her by calling her 
Madonka donk. You know, like Madonka donks. Nah. I thought the word meant ass. <laughs> yeah, well, it's close enough, and besides, it's not like she knew the difference. Anyway, Madonka donk got me through some really hard times, if you know what I mean. <laughs> More than I cared to know. That's gross. Not what I was saying at all. I never think of her like that, despite the phenomenal size of her melons. I meant that she used to look after me. We were all in the same academic club. We spent a lot of time together. And when I was going to get held back a grade, she intervened by helping me with my schoolwork. I really owe her a lot. That's why you're so hell-bent on helping her. Sounds like a really caring person. Hi. His only thing is, she's not super sociable. She couldn't hold a conversation with a mirror. That's why she doesn't get too many customers, even though she has to pay for a tuition. Who else? Who knows what else? <laughs> so I came up with a plan to bring a harmless-looking guys to get them to request her. Why don't you support her with all the money you've been making? Yeah. No, there's no way I could damage her sense of pride. But Honka Dog would never really accept charity. She'd probably say something like, don't worry about it. I can get it on my own. Whatever. Or do it on your own. I understand. Does she know you're working as a barker? No, I'm just cheering her on from the sidelines. Then again, the series shows things like hostess clubs are being fairly tight, tightly knit, for the most part. Usually handled pretty well, or the, most of the people are in it together. Oh no. Now that you know all this, would you mind maybe pay her a visit on your own and spend a lot of money on her? And if you, uh, if you have any harmless friends, could you send her the way so I can introduce them yeah. to her? And give it some thought. Yagami-san. Oh, Yagami are you interested in, in being bombarded with boobage? Or perhaps you found a trustworthy companion who won't do, won't do anything naughty. Hmm. Do I even know guys like that? Uh, I don't. <laughs> Maybe. You might not do anything. Well, that won't work. <laughs> hmm. Kaito, Kaito son. Nah, I bet he's an animal with the ladies. You'd totally try to cop a feel. Hmm. I just says I could use a brain now and then or not. I don't want to imagine the look on his face in a pair of what she has. Hmm. In that case, nobody. Uh, if I come across anyone, I will let you know. Let me know if you make any trustworthy comments. I'll do my best. I don't know many people yet. I'm still making friends. I haven't met all the people to come back to and tell you. I should go back. Not because I want to spend money and look at boobs, but to be just so I'm trying to build friendships up so I can get my freaking reputation increased so I can keep doing those side cases. <laughs> Even though you technically do. Excuse me. She here today? Ah, oh, you're jumping from war. Yes, yeah, she's available. There's a door in our way. Hey, you came yeah. back. Of course, I could hardly finish my drinks last time. Now let's take it nice and slow. It's nice to know that this doing this will help an honest person through school. Let's hope. Nice. All right, these drinks are nothing to me. Hey. Pour me one of those ass-kicking drinks. Coming right up. I can tell this is top shelf, a taste that matches the price. All right, hit me with one more. Coming right up. What am I doing? I know. Will you really be okay? Your face is all red. <laughs> <laughs> I can still keep going the drink if you please. Okay. Uh, I know I'm a mess right now, but I guess I've been through worse. Well, you, can hold, you sure can hold your alcohol, Yagami son. It's like you were built for drinking. My liver is dying. By the way, how's the whole tuition thing going? Mm. Oh, good. I've been making all the payments and that's up. Awesome. That's good to hear. Wait a sec. Are you ordering all these drinks to help mm -hmm. me? Huh? Why would you think that? 
but you never do anything perverted. In fact, all you ever do is order a bunch of alcohol. You're worried about my tuition on top of that. Maybe you're just imagining things. So if you're, here's how Apple Pie works. Whenever someone requests you or racks up a huge bill, you get cut, a cut of the profit. Let's be upfront with each other, young son. You're helping me a lot, and I want to know the reason. What can I say other than happy to be of service? Well, I'm going to need to return the favor somehow. I just really wish you wouldn't put your hand where, like, near your chest when you're giggling and it rocks back and forth, because I'm, I'm very distracted right now on your personality. I really want you to relax and enjoy yourself on the job. Don't need much more than that. Lie down and close your eyes. When I say I'm returning the favor, I mean it. Wait a minute, what? Hmm? I can't stand the idea of ordering drinks all the time without letting me get some kind of service. What's happening? I'm assuming a massage? <laughs> Man, I should have went to bed. Uh, so I have no choice. I'm on it. I'm ready if you are. My goodness, you're stiff as a stone. This is, uh, again, all phrasing. Uh, well, when you touch me like that, I am. <laughs> wow, and you're twitching. <laughs> you Look at you go. Uh, right there, you know how to work it out. <laughs> God. Oh, man. It's just a massage. It's just a massage. That's all it was. I can hardly believe you have nodded your shoulders right. Exactly. Yep, my back too. No wonder you're moaning like that. Yeah, and thanks to you, I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. Oh, that was unexpected. Entirely pleasant way. I needed that. Okay, I gotta go fucking stop being drunk again by getting into a fight, and then I'll be back. Good thing I racked up so much money. Hey, you look like fine gentlemen that would like to help me get rid of my drunkness. Out of the way. Oh, yeah. You're stronger, I I've never been to a place like I know there's I, and, and around or there's not really these types of clubs except like I guess a stripper club. You know, I guess I don't know, but like I and then there's yeah, I guess the Hooters in a sense would they care about that, but I've never been to any sort of place that really focuses on <laughs> the chest of girls and or the way things are. Like, I've just never been to any of those types of locations where it's, uh, <laughs> the way this, this kind of, like, thing is. Believe it or not, as sexual as I, I seem to be on stream, I'm really not. Excuse me. She's on break right now. Oh, well, I'll come back later when she's in. Hey, ladies. So she's not ready. Thought break. Where am I going? I just. Sorry, ladies, I'm back. Oh uh, no, I just did that myself. I didn't set up an auto mod because it's always finicky. Because like, if, if auto mod gets set up, it'll sometimes tell me to allow, like, if you swear. So like, if I set up like auto mod, it would. Tell me that you said bullshit, and do I want to allow it? Meaning I'd have to keep stopping to allow words to go through. Um, I guess since we're waiting, I'll go... I know... Yeah, there's... Up here. I haven't eaten up there, and I need to eat somewhere and be nice to someone. I'm trying to build these friends up. I know it's like I want to do the main story, but it's like those side cases can be really hilarious or just good ways to earn points and money so it's like I want to get my reputation built up with whatever I can and do some of those side cases with uh, a higher reputation all right I was looking away Might as well get it out of the way while I can
Ah, hey, how's that entree coming along? Well, you see, I, uh, what happened? You know that new dish I've been working on? Well, I went and lost the dang recipe. Wait, really? Did you at least save a picture on your smartphone? Yeah, there is, um, there is, like, a way I could, I think, blacklist and just stop certain words and or things. But they keep changing it with, like, the squigglies without the squiggly fucking things. They just keep fucking around with the bots. So it's like, I'd have to go through a lot of different phrases and a lot of different things to stop it. I don't know. They gotta have a better system for it. For now, all we do is just ban it. At least save a picture. I'm afraid not. The rule of our recipe is our handwritten, so no one can copy our menu. I assume no one else in the restaurant has it memorized. If they did, I wouldn't be retracing my steps, only to realize I'm a complete idiot. Sorry for the output. For seriously, I'm stumped. Of course, I had it happen during a one-man shift. I mean, it's only you on the floor. Yes, that's why I can't go out and look. Hope no one else finds it. Yagami-san? Could you maybe do me a favor and find it? Yeah, that's the big one. I would just have to write it in the uh, way that they're putting it. The squiggly fucking fucked up font thing that they're doing mixed with regular font. Uh, I can't leave the store unattended. You see, I'll repay you somehow. All right. So where should I start looking? The route I took was on Tenkaichi Street. I walked all the way to the and looked right. Then I stopped a bit at the M side cafe, bought a coffee, chatted a bit, then I went down the Theater Avenue. Once I passed the batting center, I was pretty much a stone throw away from here. I'm sure it's somewhere along that road. Swear that lady is always around me. So now I gotta start with Tenkaichi Street and go from there. Start here, and then he said he stopped at the theater. He went to the cafe, and then the batting center. So we're gonna start here, and then just go from there and retrace all his steps. Probably at the batting center and or the cafe, but the route I took yesterday was I started walking all the way down Tech Street at the end, made a right. Then I stopped at Mside Cafe after that and went down the Theater Avenue past the batting center and arrived. Got it. I'm not great with these scavenger hunt style things, but I'll try my best. Usually I would just say fuck it and just give up. I'm not a f like a fan of doing these things, but because, you know, I gotta stop being a bitch about certain things and just try it. I'm going to stop right on Tenkaichi Street. Right here. The right. Headed over to there. Right, then I stopped at the M side cafe, so and that's in there. I think. Hmm? Hmm, could this be his top secret recipe? Be happy to have it back. Huh, look at that. Oh, thank you for the seashell. I might as well say hi to you while I'm here. What? I gotta get food. Both in real life and in the game. Mom is we didn't go grocery shopping. Yeah, so I have nothing in the house to eat after stream. I'm kind of sad.
I'm upset I saw the pole really, too late when I had him grabbed. What the hell was that? Calm down. A sad day though, because I, I usually have something to snack on or eat when I'm done streaming, because I get a little hungry because we do this for anywhere between five and eight hours. And I'm like, you know, a little something. Now I got nothing. Out of here, go. Oh, thank goodness you came through right in the nick of time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to lose it again. I will, at least I hope not. Anyway, I need to get this to my part timer and start cooking right away. Oh, I've been ready. Anyway, I need food because I'm hurt. I'll have one of those. Um, and one of those. And since I'm already pretty much good to go on eating everything here, I'll have one coleslaw salad and miso soup. Ah, it's the spy. Back to it. There's a guy over here that needs a friend. What? Hey there, sport. Mind if I ask a couple questions? Mm -hmm. Huh? Sure, why not? Are you one of the millions dissatisfied with poor and unusual batting performance? Name's Hitano, by the way. Now, I've developed sports equipment all across Japan. I know a real slugger when I see one. What's your name, champ? This is Yagami. I'm Yagami. Yagami I'll get straight to the point, Yagami-san. I've seen you step over the bat several times now, and I always think... Wow, this rookie's got himself a pretty powerful swing. You think so? Oh, most definitely. I find myself saying, man, this guy's good. If only he knew how to pick the right equipment. That right. So, how about this? I'll give you the incredible opportunity to test our all new batting gloves. Mm -hmm. Batting gloves? Not just batting gloves either. They'll beef up your swing, improve your grip, and keep your hands blister free. It's as easy as one, two, three. You'll be helping me gather valuable product data too, so don't be shy. Give him a try. How about it, Yagami san? Are you on the ball with this one? Mm. I guess. Then that's yours. The low price of 3,000 huh? yen. Wait, now you're asking for money? <laughs> of course. You give and you get. Live and learn. There's no such thing as free lunch. Surely you know the deal by now. Sure, why not? I'll take it. I'm literally carrying 600,000 yen on me. Gives him to halfway. Anytime I have a new product, I'll bring it to you or bring it to me or whatever. I'll go bat for a second and see if uh, I'll change anything. Oh, use those batting gloves. It's like, why are you so turned on by this?